Hey guys, welcome to another video. And today I'm going to talk about a suggestion that I want to make to Tesla. So I'm hoping to get this video all the way to the uh, engineers to solve the issue with the five second delay or the five second uh, time frame that we have to do the auto lane change. So as of a couple of weeks ago, we had the 2019.16 uh, update which included some changes for the UNECE R79 uh, uh, rule uh, which limits autopilot quite a bit and one of the most annoying things is that the auto lane change is completely useless at this point. The reason for that is that we only have five seconds between initiating the auto lane change and being more than half complete uh, with the maneuver. So that means that if a car is anybody or anywhere nearby then automatically the lane change will cancel because it gets that uh, five second timeout. Now I've been driving around quite a bit testing the navigate on autopilot with the lane change uh, as well and I've been thinking about the solution that Tesla could implement here. Um, so yeah, here it goes. What I suggest is that when you initiate the lane change by using the blinker, then Tesla will not initiate the blinker in itself, right? It initiates a procedure which checks the environment to see if it is completely safe to do the lane change. If there's a car coming, it will wait uh, to do that and then only activates the blinker when it is safe to do that. To do the actual lane change. I know it is possible because when you use navigate on autopilot then automatically it takes the exits without any interaction from the driver um, so it can initiate that as well and apparently it is allowed to do that. Um, the only thing we have to worry about is how do you as a driver get to know that it actually is going to do that and I also found a solution there in the navigate on autopilot uh, system which is this so if you look at the screen you have a, a two messages basically the, the one on the left says upcoming lane change and the middle one says confirm lane change to follow route and this is when you get a lane change suggestion right? either of those two places but I would prefer the left one would uh, just pop up when you indicate for example you want to go left you indicate you want to go left but the road is not clear so that message on the left would say lane change requested for example and it stays there until the car thinks it's safe and then actually initiates that lane change to fall within that five second window also on the uh, center screen as you see here you get the lane change tab to cancel so when it suggests a lane change and you want to cancel that well uh, you just have to tap that and we could use the same indication with uh, doing a manual lane change so you initiate a manual lane change the message appears lane change requested and if that takes too long or you don't want to do that anymore because traffic is too busy for example and the car would not be able to go in between then you can just tap the screen and say okay I want to cancel my request and that way I think it's fairly easy for Tesla to implement and uh, the driver is informed that the lane change is requested when the road is clear it will actually initiate that lane change and initiate the blinker as well um, if not well then uh, either maybe after half a minute or so uh, it would cancel automatically or you use the tap to cancel but that way we can circumvent that five second rule and still stay within the safety that we had before with the car minding the other traffic before initiating the actual lane change so yeah I'm hoping uh, Tesla gets to see this and they can implement that you can of course help me also by sharing this video liking it and uh, making sure that uh, uh, enough people around Tesla are actually seeing this video. That would be great. Uh, in the meantime, also, please 
uh, sign the petition below in the comments to uh, counteract the stupid rules, <laughs> let me put it like that. And then we can hopefully get some way to make autopilot usable again and safe again in Europe. And as always, if you like my videos, please subscribe using that button down below there. And uh, don't forget to click that little bell icon so you don't miss out on any new videos. And for now, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye bye.